Hell yeah, I got two this time. guys it's awesome figures bro and i'm here with my torba winnings today now i'm not here just to sit here and show the shit that i won that's not the purpose of this video this video is a guide on how to win stuff in torba yes i'm doing this myself because i've been playing i finally started winning and i started winning hard recently now, this is just an unboxing of a couple of things that I got. Um, I have a very much bigger shipment that's coming in soon. It's it's rather large, like, yeah, man, I've been playing and I've been winning, I've been spending money and I've been learning lessons. If you hadn't been winning anything on Toro before and you want to start, you finally want to start winning, it's three simple things that you guys need to do. The first thing you need to do is practice. The second thing you need to do is research. And the third thing that you need to do is replays. Practice, research, replays. That's it, that's three things that you need to do. Sounds fairly simple. That's all you have to do. You have to practice, you have to do some research, and then you have to watch replays. You will be winning and winning a whole lot quicker. Let me break it down to you. I knew I needed practice because every day that I was playing Torba, I was always playing some different type of game. I'd get two free plays a day and I would waste them on a different type of different style of game. I wasn't being consistent on the type of game that I was playing. I also had been spending money on the game and not winning anything. And I really, really, really wanted to win something. And I wanted to win something that I would like but I didn't know what to do. I looked on the Toraba app and I saw that they had this figure, Daisuke Jigen from Lupin the Third. That's like one of my favorite shows that I like uh, that I like to watch. Like, bro, Jigen is the gunman. I love that guy. I saw that he was only 1,500 Toraba points, right? 1,500, which basically meant if I were to pay, if I paid like 10 bucks for 10,000 TP, He'd come out to be about $1.50 for each and every play that I played to get him. And to me, this figure is worth about 20 bucks. If I saw this in stores for $25, I'd buy it. $30, I'd buy it. And he was going for, what, a fifty cents a play. So I was like, all right, fuck it, let's do it. I actually paid money to play him because 1,500 TP, after I did some math, I was like, that's not that much. I started playing. It took me about $10 worth of moves and I won him. I was hooked. <laughs> the reason why I say you need to practice is because I wasn't playing on this box. There's a section, it's the chance section where sometimes they put up stuff for cheap, which is the 1500 TP, but they're putting up random stuff, good stuff, expensive stuff. And this is where I say that research is important because I won a, a teddy bear from Ted the movie where he's wearing a blue bandana on his head. I looked online, that thing's like 90 bucks. And I won him in less than, I don't know, less than like $15 worth of moves. Like I had to do the research to see if me winning this item was worth it. That's another thing about Torba is you have to see if the item that you're playing for is worth the amount of money that you're going to spend on it or about to spend on it. After I won him, I was like, dude, this is dope. I wanted to actually start winning prizes. And I came across something called Torba Prize Watcher. This is very, very, very important to you consistently winning. Torba Prize Watcher basically has all the prizes that have been won on what machines 
and in what way. You can find out how many times it's been won that day, how many times it's been won that week, how many times it's been won within the last three hours. If you can see that people are winning on it and they're not playing it, but people are winning on it, watch the replays. Next thing you know, you're winning stuff in one move. I've done it. Winning stuff in one move is excellent. Winning stuff in two moves is excellent. I want a giant Hello Kitty in like two moves. Yo, and I spent probably $3 worth of TP to win. That's winning. Like, yo, like, this is what you need to do. You need practice, you need research and replays. That is absolutely it. All right, so, guys. So what you need to do is go to Torba Prize Watcher. I went to Google, typed in Torba Prize Watcher, and bam, here it is. You don't need anything special to, to join. You just click Take Me There. Hell yeah, brother. All right. And here we are. Uh, sometimes it takes my computer a little bit of time to load stuff while I'm actually doing a screen record. Here is the past winnings of what they've got going on today. So today there's been 5,736 wins. Ooh, 40,000. What? It, isn't it crazy to see all these wins to actually think that people are actually winning and doing stuff? Like, it's real. It's legit. <laughs> and you can do it too. And so... They do have a search function right here. You click this, and if there's something that you're looking for, like Sanrio, it should pull up all kind of things that are Sanrio. Maybe they've got something else that you're looking for. Like, bro, these things, I've won some of these things. They're going to be in my uh, next tour of all. Oh, yeah, I'm super, super, super stoked about that. Um, but besides that, you can come here and you can look for specific items. Now, I hit delete. We're going to go right back to uh, the main page of what's being won. And so right now, we've got some uh, Hatsune Miku's plushies that have been won. So I'm going to click it. All right. Apparently, there's two machines that have it. And replays of all the winnings okay so we're gonna click this it's gonna open up in a new window and you're gonna see the actual replay of it okay so this is the position that it was in when the person actually uh, won it yay congratulations good for them now how necessarily does this help you for this one it kind of really doesn't help too much, simply being because this is an item that's on sale. Now, items that are on sale, they're all in that box here. Let me rewind it for you right quick. They're all in this box. Usually when you're playing Toriba, you see that plushie right there? You'd see the plushie hanging around. Well, not in this case. If the item is on sale, like how it says in the background, it's going to be a box that you're going to play for and your objective is to get the box down at the bottom like you know usual Torba. now if you want to see things that aren't on sale all you have to do is just go back to this page and click something and find something that's not on sale it's about as simple as that but a lot of these things are on sale the Hatsune Miku's on sale the Pudo plushie he's on sale this glitter is a glamorous launch. She's on sale. This poo is on sale. I know that these things are on sale because if I go to Toraba and try to play, they're gonna be in the chance category and I'm gonna see it there. And to play it, it's only 1500 TP. And at 1500 TP, it's pretty much a steal. Well, depending on how much you have to pay to win it. Now, the cool thing about the things that are on sale it's for you to practice pretty much like if you go to sale items and you load up twenty dollars and play because if you want to win this game you have to pay to play and practice practice is real it's the first thing that I said it's p p is for practice so you practice playing Toronto 
it gives you a better chance to win. But I said I was going to play until I won, and I played until I won. And it was a learning lesson, a learning experience. In fact, my wife, she played and she won on her first play. It was super duper cool. She was super excited. But then she started playing more and she was like, okay, cool. I need more practice. I was like, go on, babe, go on and practice more. And she did, she practiced more and she still needs more practice. Hell, I still need more practice. But the thing that she won was actually this uh, Winnie the Pooh plushy thing. It's like some kind of storage weird thing. I, I don't even know. But she won that. But yes, Torba Prize Watcher. You need to come here to this website, torbaprizewatcher.com. This is going to help you. When I started looking at torbaprizewatcher.com, I started to win. Okay. If we go back to Pillow or Sanrio, because I want a couple of pillows. So this one right here, I won this one and I won that one. I didn't win the, the Hello Kitty one, but I won two of these and one of these. These pastel face ones. It was a super duper easy win. Okay, so finally, Amazon finally loaded. Don't look at this goddamn price right here. That is bullshit. Fuck that shit. We're gonna scroll down. Okay, all right. So these things are what other people are actually paying for. This right here seems about right. 20 bucks for a Hatsune Miku plushie. I don't know if you guys have actually seen some of these plushies before though, but they do cost a little bit of money. I'm not gonna lie. But um, 20 bucks for a plushie does sound about right. Here's another cool thing. Mandarake.com and go here and you check this place out because they've got a bunch of Hatsune Mikus. Some of them are sold out, but they've got a bunch of Hatsune Mikus and you can see if yours is here if it is okay go for it you can buy it here but you're gonna have to wait but you still have to wait if you were to buy it or if you were to win anything from toriba but you might be able to find what you're looking for at a cheaper price if you're actually willing to wait because this right here a thousand yen that's close to ten dollars it's, it's actually less than ten dollars so as you can see on amazon some people were trying to sell them for 25 30 40 dollars and up which is a little bit pricey but a thousand yen for a holiday specific one or a theme specific one yeah that sounds about right 1500 yen that does sound about right you know 2000 yen yes i've seen some of, like of these plushies go for like 20 bucks and that's close to about 20 bucks usd with that being said you do your research before you actually play on the machine. See if you can find it on Amazon. See if you can actually find a legitimate one on eBay. Sometimes eBay isn't the place you want to go, but you can actually find some legitimate things on eBay if you do your due diligence. And then also check out, man, the rocket, man. You know, any of these online websites that you have to either do a proxy server or straight from Japan, man, the rocket, you don't have to do a proxy service, but you can order straight through here and you pick yourself up some of these things for cheap if they have them in stock some of them you can buy some of them they don't have in stock now the reason that jigen daisuke was so 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 important was that i've got this guy to go with and this guy to go with now he's in black and white these two are in color and i also have her now all these are supposed to go together and they're supposed to like create a small little circular scene um i am searching for the other figures that that i can actually piece up and i want to piece them all up together in black and white but this is all i've got of each of them and i would like to complete like 
even if I just completed the, the, the set of having every character, which means that I need to go get Goemon, um, I'd be happy with that. However, I still want to get the complete black and white and the complete color. So like I said, I've been looking for him. And when I found out, like, yo, dude, I could get this for less than $10. Rap, it was a steal. Like, I'd buy him used if, but I got him new. And you know what? I think today he's still on tour above because the today is about to be the end of February, February 2020 and March is coming up. And I think that he is still there. So, yo, he is a steal. Steal this guy. Win this guy. Also, I'm not going to be opening any of these right now. I'm not really going to open the Pikachu. I mean, I guess I can, but I'm not worried about that. However, I will open up Rei Ayanami. Because the funny thing is, is that I saw her in stores and this one is relatively new. I was thinking about buying her in stores because I was like, oh, dude, I love Evangelion. But I want her instead. <laughs> so that works. Oh, oh, oh no, there's tape on the sides, man. You know, I should have thought about this right. I'm more experienced than I am. Or more experienced than this. They typically tape figures on all three sides of the box. Yeah, let's crack open Ray. This isn't a figure unboxing video. This is just to show you guys how to actually win stuff in Norba though. But I wanted to open up one of these things for you guys. So here we are. Oh, this is uh, pretty good. I mean, yeah, we do got some seams and stuff on it though, but you know, let's let's crack this thing open all the way. Ready? Boom! This thing is stunning. I actually like this. This this shit is pretty cool. And for the Pikachu, my original. For this bad man, he me open. Like, this is a girl Pikachu because the brown is down here and it's not up here. I think that's what the internet told me. If the internet lied to me, tell me. Tell me if the internet lied to me. But yeah. Yo, man, dude, this is it. Hell yeah, brother. In fact, I'll give you guys a close-up so you guys can see what the hell Rayanami's all about. But anyways, that's typically it. All you gotta do is practice, watch the replays, and do some research. You do those things, you can start winning at Toraba. Practice, practice, practice though. You need to go to the cell section and stomp those yards, stomp those grounds, because if you actually practice and see some stuff, you're gonna know how to move it. Instead of moving it just like a little bit, you'll learn how to flip that box down there and put it in a better position. And then you can do a little bit of inching, one big move, and then it'll all drop in. It's crazy, man. Just some practice. You have to say, I'm gonna win at Torba for you to win. Research, find out if it's worth you actually paying to either buy it or win it. It's a gamble, okay? You have to, am I gonna pay for this? Or am I going to win this? Like, you're gonna have to decide that. And then replays. Watch and watch and watch the replays. Because if the box turns in or your figure or your plushie is in the exact same position as it, as it is in that replay or close to it and you can get in that position, play that machine. Play that machine. Play that machine. All right, man, this is Awesome Figures, bro. Uh, the guys on the Discord, they wanted to check this shit out and, and, and they wanted me to drop something. So I'm hoping that this is informative and that it would help you and hopefully you will finally start winning at Torba. Peace. Good night, sugar. Ooh! <laughs>
That's what I'm talking about. Later, guys.